All right, guys, this is, ouch. This is King DDD, the, I guess you could call him one of the final bosses here. <laughs> to be honest, King DDD acts a lot like Kirby. As you can see, he can suck you in, he can jump down on enemies. He has a hammer. Dang it, I've screwed up. <sighs> and in all honesty, this fight is actually quite hard. I suck at this fight. See, he's inflatable, which I just basically run under him for. Yeah, I can get away from that attack. Hammer. Ah, uh, it'd be really good if I had a sword or something. Something I could hit him with besides just regular stars. And as you can see, it takes a lot of hits to kill. Unlike any previous boss we've met so far. This guy's actually pretty tough. Not gonna lie. Okay. Whoa, I was walking right into that. You almost got me, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> but I'm too small for you. Come on. Alright, come on, we've come too far to lose now. Still got three health. In all, in all honesty, I'm playing this on the, uh, the Wiimote. The first time I fought this guy, I fought him with the GameCube controller. And I have to say, that was a nightmare. I'm finding this game to be a lot more fun when played on the Wiimote. I mean, I don't know if it works on the cla I mean, I'm sure it works on the classic controller too, but I don't have a classic controller, so... Yeah. But yeah, when I played it on the GameCube, it was an utter nightmare. Oh crap. Playing it on the Wiimote! Piece, well, not a piece of cake, but a lot easier. It took me like six or seven tries to- oh crap. No, 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 no! Oh, okay, good, we got him. Whew. It took me like six or seven tries to uh, beat him with the GameCube controller, where, and with the Wiimote, it doesn't take me that long at all. And here we are, level eight, the Fountain of Dreams. But don't let it fool you, it's not actually a level. And King Dedede's like, no, don't take the star rod! Don't do it! Don't do it! What are you doing? Ah, stop, stop, Kirby, don't do it! Don't do it, no! Da! Ah. Wonder why King DDD's trying to stop us. Oh, now you've gone and done it! What? it looks fun to me. Ah, uh. run around in circles! Panic and fear! Panic and fear! King DDD's like, I'll help you! Go stop the nightmares that you've unleashed by putting the Star Rat back in its place. So this is the final, final boss, the Nightmares, which were basically um, inhabiting Dreamland. Uh, this boss fight's rather unique. Um, as you can see, you're fighting with a star rod here. Uh, I find it kind of funny the little picture, um, you know, symbol, simpli eh. simplifying that uh, Kirby has the uh, star rod, his little witch. Like Kirby has a witch's hat, which I don't get at all. But whatever, I just find it kind of funny. Because in the in the remake, I believe he has like the star rod with like all this immense power and whatnot. But you want to finish this guy rather quickly, because as you can see, we're descending. It's not the background that's you know changing. We're actually descending. As you can see, we started this fight in front of the moon, and now that we're fighting this guy, we're basically falling from the sky as we fight him. Uh 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 uh. No, you're not gonna do that, buddy. Uh uh. I don't think so. And if you don't beat him fast enough... Oh, I thought I got him. Yeah, I got you that time. If you don't beat him fast enough, you're going to eventually hit the ground. In fact, I'm going to sit here for a second and basically let us get close to the ground. Okay, yeah, see? Touching the ground, touching the ground. Uh, yeah, don't let it squish you. Don't let the top of the screen of the ground squish you because you will die. So, see, we were descending, but now we're ascending back up to the moon for the final fight. And by final fight, I mean the final fight. All right, buddy, what you got? No, Kirby! Ah, you lost the star. All right, this is Nightmare's true form. And I have to say, this music is amazing. I love this fight. Or maybe not the fight exactly, but the music. Uh, basically, it's just a, don't worry, you're not ascending or descending or anything like that. Um, basically what you need to do is when, um, Nightmare, well, basically has that, like, tornado-like look, instead of wearing a cape, that's when you want to hit him. So, for example, you want to hit him, like, right now. See? Got him. Oh, wait, shoot, I took, I took damage there, didn't I? Dang it. I'm taking a lot of damage in this fight, aren't I? Ugh, get down. Alright, stop him! Dang, stop running into the stars! 
Uh, I'm not gonna win this one, am I? Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to. Come on, get him. If I win this with one HP, that would be so amazing. I mean, I know it's not gonna happen, but... I suck at this part. Ah, why did I jump? Please don't tell me I have to fight the nightmare orb thing again. Okay, no, I don't. Yay! I don't have to cut anything out. Okay. Oh, dang. Way to go. Nice and steady wins the race. Of course. All my shots missed. I don't think so, buddy. You're not doing your tornado y spaz star attack. Only I can do the spaz star attack. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the best thing to do, or at least what I do, is always just stay in the corner because that seems to avoid most of his attacks. See, I avoided that one. The only one that I can never seem to avoid from the corner is those star projectiles. Because he just kind of spazzes out and shoots them everywhere. But whatever, that's a nightmare for you. Alright, come on, hit him. Yes! Alright, we're doing much better this time. Alright. Come on. And only a little bit or only a little bit more until you die. Get him! Ah, see, I always take damage there. When he shoots him right into the corner, I always seem to get hit. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, I'm right in the corner, but still. Okay, let's not jump out at stupid times. Aw, oh, you serious? You missed. Ooh, let's get out of the center. Actually, wait. Maybe I might be able to... Yeah! That... Oh, dang it! I was going to say, if I stayed in the center, I might have been able to hit him with the star rod there, but oh well, whatever. Get up! Oh, why didn't any of that hit? Oh shoot, we only have one life. Oh, I, yeah, duh. Zero counts as a life, too, I just remembered. Alright, now he's gonna teleport. That's how you know he's getting weak. Oh, dead. And there goes Nightmare with his spazzy, loud NES cry. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects were kind of loud back then, but what can you do? And that's how the Crescent Moon was created. No, not really. Actually, well, maybe for this universe it was. There was a gigantic a gigantic battle on the moon. They exploded, and yeah, the Crescent Moon was made. Anyway, Kirby fought to find the Star Rod. But King DDD did not mean any harm. Bad dreams had invaded Dreamland. A nightmare came to the Dream Spring. And tried to cause pain to the people. This is basically the backstory in case you didn't, like, stay on the start screen long enough. DDD foiled the nightmare by hiding the star rod from him. Yeah, this is all the backstory if you didn't stay on the start screen long enough to read all the useless tutorial stuff. DDD helped Kirby beat the nightmare. Now everyone's dreams will return. Tonight, Dreamland will sleep well. Kirby's like, bye, thanks for playing my game. And all the stars fall down, and we're basically taking... R oh, the credits. I forgot this game did have credits. I thought it just took you back to the start screen. Well, that works for me. I can talk about what I want to talk about. Well, guys, this LP's been a lot of fun. Quite quick, because, you know, I kind of wanted a quick game. Just basically as a weekend project. And now we're going to see the credits were basically some... Uh, uh, unknown player plays the game and basically looks like it makes you look like an idiot with your awesome skills. Just like in New Super Mario Bros. Wii! Anyway. But, um, yeah, it's been quite, quite a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of nostalgia in this game for me. Considering I haven't played this game in probably a good three years. It's been probably a good three years since I played the Game Boy version and probably even longer since I played the original, so. When I decided I wanted to do something different, like a different series, 
Uh, I thought Kirby might be a nice little place to start, and what better game to play than an original NES classic? Ah, that boss. I can't believe I beat that boss so... Well, I wouldn't say easily, but unexpectedly. I thought I was surely going to die at that last game. Ah, Meta Knight, you jerk. But perhaps Meta Knight wasn't bad either. I don't know. He's another star warrior like Kirby. And DDD, you have the potential to be a jerk, just saying. Oh, and of course they're gonna bring high jump into the battle here just to make me look like an idiot. Well, guess what? I did it the epic way. I had no powers backing me up, that's right. And there we go, guys. The star Rod's back in order. There's a little the end screen right there. Or the end sign, I should say. And I like how the little power box like that tells you what power you have says bye bye. And there you have it, everybody. I believe we stay on the screen long enough. Or if you press random buttons, <laughs> you get back to the star screen. Um, there's a couple of things that I probably should show you if I. Yeah, yeah, you unlock bonus games after you, uh, beat the, um, the main game. Uh, Crane Fever I've shown you, Quick Draw I've shown you, Egg Catcher I've only shown you once. Uh, the Crane Fever was basically, you know, the crane game with Kirby, so you gotta pick them up. Quick Draw was the one where I wanted the hats, which I never did succeed in because we don't, I don't think we ever played that game ever again. After the first time playing it. And Egg Catcher was the one that reminded me of the Chansey minigame in Pokemon Stadium 2, where basically you just gotta catch all the eggs. But there's this new one here, Versus Boss. Uh, I'm just gonna play just a little minute or two of this, but basically what Versus Boss is, is that you gotta go through all the boss battles in the game with one life. Um, you know, just a huge gauntlet of bosses. Like every single boss you've fought, excluding many bosses. Uh, basically just with one life, so you can't take much damage. Ooh, and I almost took damage there, so. Uh, I haven't really beaten, I mean, I've beaten this before, but it usually takes me multiple tries because you gotta go from, uh, all the way from Wispy to Nightmare without losing any lives. And, yeah, I can't say that I'm good at this, so. I have to die here, don't I? Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna die here. So I can say my farewells. And by farewell, I mean, you know, end off this LP on a nice note. Yes, we're going to end this LP off on a nice note by killing ourselves in the boss fights. Yay! Anyway, guys. Oh, game over. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this LP. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed this LP. Oh, hey, I got a lot more stuff in this, uh, in this file than I did in my practice file. Nice. So, I really hope that you enjoyed this LP. It was a lot of fun. Uh, quite a lot of nostalgia for me, and I'm sure for a lot of other people. I remember when I revealed this game, there were so many comments saying, Yeah, Kirby's Adventure! I loved this game as a kid. And it's a great game, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess this is gonna be it for Kirby's Adventure. And I'll see you guys... Um, in Super Luigi Galaxy, Birth by Sleep, and coming soon, Pokemon Leaf Green. So, I will see you guys then. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's been a great project and a fun time. So, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Slanging Spirit 78, signing out. And thank you for watching Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. Later.